Artists, today we are making watercolor sunflowers. To start, you are going to draw a big circle in the center of your paper. Um, this is going to be the center of our flower. Our flowers are gonna be giant. They need to fill the page, so please don't make that tiny. Then I'm gonna add some texture on the inside. The center of the flower has seeds, so I added some bumpies and then some circles. This will add a nice texture to the center of my flower. I even added an extra squiggly. Then I make a curved line going up from the center and back down to the center. And I'm gonna repeat this, line up, line down, line up, line down. And notice my lines are curved. This makes for a nice petal shape that I'm gonna repeat all around my flower. Notice some of my petals go off the edge of the paper and that's okay. What I don't wanna see is a teeny tiny flower like this. Let's have these flowers bursting with springtime joy and like Vincent Van Gogh gratitude and filling the page. You're also gonna to wanna to add a stem. I encourage you to think about your stem, maybe not in the center of the paper, but maybe off to the side to make it a little more interesting. And I'm also going to be adding a petal with my oil pastels off to the side. Notice how I'm really working to fill my paper. I'm also jumping right into oil pastel. I'm not using a pencil. Remember, there's no mistakes in art. If something doesn't turn out quite right, that's okay. Just turn it into something else. And now I'm adding some little details in the petals. I'm also gonna add another layer of petals tucked behind my first layer of petals. This will make the, pet the flower look so full and beautiful and give me more areas to paint. So notice I'm filling, filling, filling my paper. And now I'm gonna put a dot of clean water on each color to soften it up. Once I've put a little bit of water on each of my watercolors, then I'm gonna get some fresh water and do some painting. Notice I'm using my dark yellow color towards the center. Then I'm gonna use a brighter yellow because there are two yellows on my tray to do the outside of the petal. That way I have two different colors in my each petal. Notice I'm not leaving any white spaces and that between colors, so if I need a new color, I dip my paintbrush in water. You want to get your paintbrush nice and wet between each color. These are watercolors. They need water to work. In between each color, I'm washing my paintbrush. Now, another thing you're going to want to do with watercolors is try not to have two different colors touch each other that you don't want to mix. So now that I'm doing the sky, you can see I have a little bit of the green that went into my blue for my leaf. Try to do areas that aren't right next to each other right away. Try to let each space dry a little bit. So notice I'm filling my whole paper in, pen, in watercolor. For the background, you could do a blue sky, you could do a sunset or a sunrise, uh, whatever colors you like. And then for my back petals, I'm doing yellow and orange together to make them darker. It is a sunflower, so we are going to focus on yellows and oranges for the petals, and then they have a brown center. So I even added a few dots of orange in there too. Once my paper is totally full, then I will put it on the drying rack. Try not to have any white spaces, artist. It'll make it look so amazing. 